as we're thinking about networks, Six Points has really taught me a lot about this because our first cohort had 12 artists. You know, or we got the criticism, this is, you know, a lot of money for 12 people, what's gonna happen? But what we found in our evaluation is that these 12 artists worked with 200 collaborators. That artists don't work in a vacuum. That even if they're in their studio painting, there's a whole bunch of people who are involved in getting that out into the world. Um, and so those 12 artists then engaged 200 people and then they had 26,000 people see their work, and then they had 250,000 people visit their websites. So it, it's this like ripple that we loved, which was 12 to 200 to you know 26,000 to 250, and then if we throw in national television, NPR, The New Yorker, we're at like 10,000 people had the opportunity to see their work. Um, and that's one of the things we love about this project and the way that the networks are created by these small group of leaders who are empowered to really bring in more and more people. And that was our first group. And now that we have a second group of artists in New York, they are creating um, relationships between themselves, which we're cultivating um, in, in more of an idiosyncratic way. You know, with artists, their needs are so dissimilar based on their disciplines and who they are, but we found there to be a lot of nice ways for them to work together, collaborate both professionally as well as um, create a Jewish community that looks different than a lot of different Jewish communities. Our artists, although based in New York and L.A., um, include artists um, from Ethiopia, Israel, um, former Soviet Union, Romania, you know, transgender, people who bring really different stories and then therefore they bring their networks. So this is kind of what also helps us bring a lot of different people together to be engaged through these arts and culture projects.